friends, it's Rachel here and today I am doing a Project Life spread for my travel album and I am using Cray Paper All Heart Collection. Uh, this is a quick short video but I'm doing both sides of this um, spread and I, um, yeah, this is part of my travel album and one of the last pages I needed to get done and I got it done and it feels so good. Um, and that's why it might not be like overly embellished just because I just wanted to get it done to be honest and I still think it looks cute and pretty. I use these pre-made Project Life cards. They are, um, Maggie Holmes cards from, I believe her Gather collection because I think it says gather on that bottom card. Um, and yeah, so it, it kind of makes it look embellished already if I used pre-made cards like that, which I can appreciate. Um, these are photos of us in Amsterdam at the Heineken Museum. And again, like I said, like the, the end of the album. So um, this is the last couple pages and... Yeah, I'm so happy to have this album done. I will be putting out a flip through of the travel album so you'll be able to see it all together. All the pages I've done over the past year and a half. For some reason, it took me that long. Who knows why? But I'm so happy it's done now. Um, and I can move on to other projects. I do have some Disney albums that I want to do. So if you're interested in seeing some like Disney scrapbooking, let me know. I am a huge Disney fan. I'm a big pin collector. I watch Disney YouTubers, listen to Disney podcasts. I'm kind of obsessed. Um, uh, but I have um, a couple Disney albums that I want to make. One of them is from when my mom and I went after my dad died. We went a couple weeks after, um, just as like a quick getaway. And so that would have been, we would have gone in like February of 2018, I believe. And then um, Andy and I went in 2020 in January. So we were lucky to fit that trip in before everything kind of shut down. So that was, the one I went with Andy was a really big trip. So that will be quite a large album, but... Um, yeah, I really want to get those trips documented. So if those are some kind of things you'd like to see, let me know. Um, and I will be sure to make videos of them when I do that. Um, and as you can see on these pages, back to, back to what we're talking about or back to what we're documenting, um, I'm doing a lot of journaling. I think it's important to journal some of those things. Um, from trips that you might not remember in the future. However, I do have like actual physical journals where I have written down everything we did every single day. Um, that's what I do for every single trip. And to me, that's really important because we love to travel. Those are very special things in our life. And um, so those are important for me to document. I'm not the type of person who journals every day in my life, but uh, for special things like this, I do really like to have those things documented both in photos and in writing. So I have multiple places to find those special, special, special memories. So I hope this motivates you to get some projects done and to get those travel things or whatever it is you've been putting off, putting off, get it documented, get it done. Trust me, it'll feel so good and you'll feel so happy that you did it. Um, even if it's some simple spreads like these ones are, if it's, if it's just a simple little thing, that's okay. Just get it done and uh, you'll feel good about it. Um... I know Inky Quill, Adele from Inky Quill, she makes like little um, boxes of products. She puts them together and does like um, couch scrapping to get a bunch of layouts and spreads done just on the couch with the material she can have sitting beside her. So that's a great idea too. But here is the project completed. I hope you enjoyed this and have a great day. Bye!